What's happening? It's Shane here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the top 10 colleges that pay off the most over a lifetime, right? So this is basically an attempt to really figure out what the return on investment of going to college is, especially over a lifetime, because, you know, depending on the degree you get or the career you go into, you might start off the first few years, maybe you're not making very much money, but over time, the education that you get from that college and the brand name from attending that college maybe that is going to end up making you a lot more money over a lifetime. And this is something that is definitely worth looking into, especially with all the rising college costs. It's just getting more and more ridiculous. Uh, people on average are going about $40,000 in debt in order to go to college. And at the same time, the value of a college degree isn't what it used to be. And on top of that, it really depends on which college degree that you get. So it used to be that you could go to college and get any degree, you'd be good to go, and it's just not like that anymore. You really have to consider which college degree you're getting and your return on investment. And so we are going to dive into this and see which colleges have been worth it over the last 40 years. But before we do that, make sure to gently tap the like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so that you never miss out. So this was a report based off of the Georgetown Center on Education and the Workforce. And it was titled, A First Try at ROI, ranking 4,500 colleges. And basically this was an attempt to see how much a college degree paid off in the last 40 years, right? So it's very important to note here that just because a college degree paid off really well in the last 40 years does not necessarily mean it's going to pay off really well in the next 40 years. But it is interesting to look at and sometimes it can be an indicator that it will pay off. So they basically looked at the net present value of a college degree and they looked at it at the 10 year mark as well as the 40 year mark. Now, number 10 on the list was the United States Merchant Marine Academy. The 10 year net present value was 298,000 and the 40 year net present value was 1.9 million. So this is basically a service academy located in New York that trains people to work in the merchant marines. And specifically they work as officers and they tend to get extensive training in the transportation industry. So not only are they gonna make pretty good money working as officers, but after they retire, they're going to have extensive training in the transportation industry, which is going to help them with their career or maybe even starting their own business afterwards. Number nine on the list is going to be the university that conducts conducted the study themselves, which let's be honest is a little bit sus, but that's going to be Georgetown University. So the 10 year net present value was 198,000 and the 40 year net present value was 1.95 million. Now Georgetown is a private university that is located in Washington DC. Very prestigious, great basketball team, also very expensive, but in the long run, at least over the last 40 years, it did pay off. Number eight on the list is going to be a very well-known college, and that is Harvard University. They are a private nonprofit university, and the 10-year net present value was 286,000, and the 40-year net present value was about 1.96 million. Now, Harvard might actually be the most prestigious university in the entire world, uh, people even in completely different countries that have don't you know, like they don't even want to go to college probably still know what Harvard is. So having that brand name recognition and being such a prestigious university likely will help you out in life, especially if you're somebody who knows how to use that, right? So if you're somebody who makes sure that you are networking while you go to the university and you're also maybe going into an industry where there's a lot of alumni that might be able to help you out. Now, number seven on the list is going to be Babson College, another private university very, very expensive, uh, isn't nearly as well known as Georgetown and definitely not Harvard, but it looks like, you know, 10 year net present value was 184,000, which is lower than some of the others but the 40 year net present value was 1.98 million. Number six on the list was Maine Maritime Academy. This is a university that trains people in all things that have to do with the ocean. Now, interestingly enough, uh, if you attend this school, you do wear uniforms almost like you're in the military, but it isn't actually a military school. Also much more affordable, which is a great thing, and the 10 year net present value is 251,000, and the 40 year net present value is 2 million. So I think this would be one of those schools that you would wanna consider going to if you really have a good idea of what you wanna do with your life and you know that going to this school is going to set you up with the knowledge and get you into that type of career. Number five on the list is Stanford University. Basically the Harvard of the West Coast, also a private university, very well known. 
It might be like probably top five most well-known universities in the world. Also located in an area where there is a ton of innovation in general, but specifically technology industry heavy. So this is another one in my opinion where, you know, we, they've done studies and on average Ivy League universities don't usually help you out all that much compared to a state university when it comes to your return on investment. However, in very specific circumstances, they can really help you, right? So if you are somebody you know absolutely that you want to live in Silicon Valley and you want to be like a computer programmer or something like that, and maybe even start a business, it likely would be worth it for you to go to Stanford, especially if you're somebody who really took advantage of your time there. Next one on the list is maybe the best university in the world when it comes to education, and that is going to be the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, also known as MIT. This one is located in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and the 10-year net present value is 311,000. 40 year is 2.2 million. So this one is good right off the bat and also good in the long run. Now this one is a private university, very expensive, about $73,000 of average annual cost per year. But after student aid, right? After they provide scholarships, grants, et cetera, it's only about 18,000. So they obviously provide their students with a lot of resources. And you could honestly argue that MIT has the smartest people in the world. And so the university is probably actively seeking out like the best and the brightest people even more than the other like Ivy League level universities. And so they incentivize them to go there by offering them more scholarships and grants. At least that's my theory and that's kind of what I read while I was doing research on this video. Now the last three, number three, number two, and number one are very interesting because they all have something in common. They are all health related universities. Number three on the list is going to be the Massachusetts College of pharmacy and health sciences. Now it's called the College of Pharmacy, but they also offer other majors like nursing or physician assistant, also known as physician associate now. The 10 year net present value is $247,000 and 40 year is 2.42 million. Number two on the list is going to be the St. Louis College of Pharmacy. Their 10 year net present value is 389,000 and 40 year is 2 million. So the 10 year net present value is better, but the 40 year net present value isn't quite as good. Now, number one on the list basically blows all of the others off the list, and that is going to be the Albany College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. So all three of these College of Pharmacies uh, this one offers other majors as well, but the 10 year net present value is 385,000 and the 40 year net present value was 2.7 million, right? So in my opinion, this just goes to show how well paying a lot of health careers are. Something I talk about this channel quite a bit, health degrees, health careers, great path for you to go down, especially for the right person. It'll set you up for a career for the rest of your life. You compare that to some technology related degrees, for instance, and you know, the technology industry has a big problem with what's known as ageism. And that's where, you know, somebody might get a degree, they start with the company at like 20, two years old, they work with the company until they're maybe in their late 30s, early 40s, and then the companies figure out a way to phase them out because when you get older, you're a little bit less uh, good at learning new technology, new frameworks, and new languages. And so they would rather just hire younger people and get rid of you. Kind of messed up, big controversy in the tech industry, but that's something you really don't have to worry about too much in health. So I can definitely see why these types of degrees and these types of schools would pay off the most over 40 years. But yeah, very interesting stuff. Um, you know, there's a lot to glean from this, but at the same time, you can't take it too literally just because of the fact that, you know, what happened the last 40 years is not necessarily going to happen the next 40 years. But it's interesting to look at these sort of things. You know, it used to be just about 20, 25 years ago that you could get pretty much any degree and it really wouldn't matter. You would be able to get a job no matter what. It was basically like a golden ticket to success. And things are not like that anymore. And I think the same thing goes for colleges. Colleges have just been in this bubble where they just continue to increase tuition, increase tuition, increase costs and it's just gotten absolutely ridiculous. And I just don't think the value of college has caught up with that. In fact, I think you could make a very strong argument that the value of college has gone down. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead, check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Gently tap the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you next time.